What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the benefits of light sparring, okay? And um, <clears throat> light sparring when it comes to striking, actually. Because I've been lately, I've been posting videos of me training, you know, because YouTube now has YouTube Shorts, and I figure I give it a shot. So I've been filming a little bit of, on my phone, really, um, you know, like um, little clips of me training and drilling and all that. So I post them out there. I post it on on you know like YouTube, YouTube Shorts, so that you guys can see it and and yeah, you know, just for uh, for fun, right? <laughs> And what I'm gonna do eventually, um, I'm just working on it, is that I'm going to post some videos of me, um, you know, rolling, like doing like the full clips as opposed to just like one minute or a couple of seconds and then narrate it. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna narrate it because without narration, without me talking and explaining um, uh, what I'm doing, where I screwed up, what I did right, what I was trying to do and all that, like it's just boring and it's not um, of any value I find, not much anyway. So that's what I'm working on. So um, be on the lookout for that. I'll post it as soon as I figure out how to do things correctly. Uh, I don't just wanna post like, you know, uh, 10 minute videos of me, um, uh, you know, sparring. And then a lot of times when I do spar though, uh, in striking, what happens is that I, uh, I spar with guys who are, um, higher level than me who are better strikers and we go light and they coach me at the same time so there's a lot of pauses in between so that's why i would have to fix up those videos to make it uh useful for you guys and not just throw it out there and then you know you got like a 10 minute video where there's like five minutes of sparring and then a total of five minutes of you know uh talking so to speak like at different moments in in the video so anyways, let me get to the subject at hand. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because somebody actually uh, put a comment out there um, regarding my sparring videos, one of the sparring videos that I posted up and like striking and uh, saying I, essentially that I suck, I got no technique and that I shouldn't be, I should go to go learn boxing and Taekwondo and all that and um, blah, 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 blah. But it wasn't mean. I think it was just a question of um, language barrier, right? And you know, the person is just being direct and giving your opinion, which is fine. Like you appreciate like all the other graphing stuff. Okay, now, here's the thing with um, sparring light. <laughs> what people don't understand is that a lot of my sparring um, striking sparring, okay, and, and that particular video was with no gloves. Like, we didn't have gloves, we didn't have shin pads, we didn't have any equipment at all. So what we're doing were, was that we're actually play fighting, okay? So play fighting is essentially we're, exchange, we're, we're, we're warming up by play fighting and we're essentially just touching each other, you know, touching like going for the face a little bit, but very, very light. We're not actually trying to make contact and hurt each other. And then he's throwing kicks, I'm throwing kicks. It's just to warm up, to get into, to get our timing right, and to, um, uh, you know, to get, um, to get our reactions, uh, reactions awakened, our instincts uh, awakened, so to speak. And yeah, it's, it's, and it's, it's, it's beneficial. And then after that, we put on the gloves and then we actually spar. Now, I think it's more beneficial for you, okay, to start warm up that way, play fighting, and then after that, even when you do put on the gloves, go light. Because it's gonna give, you're gonna get better faster, in my opinion, than if you just spend a lot of time doing um, shadow box without having any context. If you don't have any context because you never sparred, you're gonna shadow box and you're probably gonna imagine the wrong thing. Cause you don't really have, you know, you, you just kind of imagine, but you know, maybe, maybe you make stuff up in your mind based on what you've seen other people do and stuff like that, but it's not from your own experience. So it's not, in my opinion, as valuable. That's one thing. And then if you learn techniques and you're striking the bag or you're hitting pads, you know, like 
it's not as beneficial if I just throw you in there and, you know, we go light. And then we, we touch each other, we play. So, so we're just touch and go, touch and go, touch and go. And then after that, we put on the gloves because that, in my opinion, works better. At least it does for me, <clears throat> right? Because I've seen guys who look like literally gods, you know, they look amazing, like straight, straight killers on, on pads, on the bag, shadow boxing. And then you put them in a sparring situation and they get their, their asses kicked. Like they have no, no, no proper reflexes. They don't know um, how, they, they flinch all the time. They don't know how to uh, cover up. They don't see punches coming. They're wide open when they throw their stuff. You know, so it doesn't necessarily carry over to, you know, actual uh, fighting. So what I'm saying is that it's better actually, I find, to do the opposite, you know, to throw that person right away, okay, in front of, um, in, uh, in, in, in play fighting slash light sparring, okay, and correct them, and then after that, then they could shadow box and then they can uh, mitts, you know, work on pad work, do pad work and then they can do uh, bag work and all that. And then they're going to get so much better, so much faster because now they have context. Whereas if you do the opposite, you just talk about technique, footwork and all that. Like, okay, it's, it's fine and dandy to do it. Just, you know, uh, do it like that. But then it's not gonna, all of that is out the window. As soon as there's somebody in front of you who is going to, a resisting, moving opponent who's gonna punch you in the face and kick you, you know? So that's that. And um, it's really beneficial that way. And also, if you have somebody that's more advanced than you and that has control, okay, they're able to correct you in sparring. So if you throw a jab like this, okay, and your shoulder is not high enough and you're not properly tucked in, you're gonna get, if they have longer reach, they're gonna be able to tag you. And if you throw your jab and then you throw your straight, but you see, look at all this space here, you know, and you, you drop your hands. Let's say you throw your jab, but you drop your hands or you go like this, but your hand here is dropped. I mean, that's gonna be corrected very quickly by somebody who's higher level than you and who sees the opening and is able to correct you in, 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 mid, um, in mid action, so to speak, right? So doing it live, getting corrected live is in sparring, okay? By somebody who's not gonna uh, destroy you, of course, not gonna make you pay to the point, like he's not gonna injure you or concuss you, but really just tag you, slight correction, Boom, right then, you're gonna learn your lessons a lot faster, you know? So every time you drop your guard and he, and, he, and he smacks you, then you're gonna be like, well, wait a second. And then he tells you, hey, your guard, it's low, you know? Telling you is one thing, but if he slaps you in the face or, or like tags you a little bit, you know? And then he tells you afterwards, well, you're gonna understand a lot faster than if, he, if we're just doing pad work and he's telling you, hey, you know, your guard's too low, bring your arms, bring your hands back here, protect yourself yada 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 you know sometimes we just got to learn through experience right now danger in there is of course if the guy in front of you is just crazy and just goes too hard it's not going to be fun going to get concussed and uh, you know you're going to you're not going to it's not going to be a, a fun experience and you might stop because of that or you continue but you won't really get good and you're going to get uh, uh injured and you know cut up or you know concussed or brain damage or whatever you know, so that's not fun either. So that's why I really promote <clears throat> uh, light sparring, you know, play fighting. Play fighting to warm up with nothing, okay? Be, for, be careful with your, uh, your fingers, don't poke them in the eyes and all. And then after that, put on the gloves, go light, but you have to get people who uh, you could trust and who are higher level than you to teach you that. And sometimes it happens that, you know, like, uh, like in my case, when I'm... <laughs> When I'm doing it with my buddies, like two of my buddies, they're huge. They're huge guys. They're like, uh, I'm five foot eight, 152 pounds. These guys, the smallest one, uh, well, among those two, the smallest one is six foot and 200, I think 25 pounds. And then the bigger one is six five at uh, close to close to 300, like 290-ish or something like that, 290 pounds. 
And these guys have reach, size, weight, experience over me. And uh, yeah, good times, good times. So even if they tag me lightly, sometimes, man, it, uh, it's, still, uh, it's, it's still kind of painful, right? But hey, but they teach me at the same time. And I'm kind of a tough cookie. So I'm not, you know, I'm not one to complain. I'm not gonna cuss or anything like that. Of course, I get, I get a little bit uh, dinged up, but hey, that's kind of part of uh, the sport, uh, so to speak, okay? So that's that. Now, <laughs> let's, let's get back to, to, to this gentleman who, uh, who, who told me essentially, you know, you suck and you should go do, uh, uh, don't talk about striking. No, I didn't say that. He said you should go do like learn proper technique and all that. Um, I am learning proper technique. I'm learning proper technique, like, uh, you know, through live sparring, light live sparring. And after that, I correct my technique afterwards. And I improved leaps and bounds since I started, um, striking again. Okay. Because I started off when I was younger, I started off like in, in Kung Fu and in Taekwondo. I did that for three years. And I touch a little bit on boxing here and there, a little bit of self-defense playing, but I, I'm never, I'm not a big, I'm not like an expert striker or super advanced striker, but I do plan to be. So I'm starting and, you know, and at one point my boxing was half decent from what I remembered, but I, I haven't done it in like six years. So your skills goes to shit, it goes to shits if, if you don't practice them, especially when you, if you weren't even, you were, you were never high level anyway. So, I mean, there you go. So I'm starting off again, and but since I started and I've been doing it for maybe about, um, man, I'd, I'd have to say anywhere between four and six months now, approximately, right in total, um, because you know we had the pandemic and it, you know gyms closed and all that. So let's call it about six months, and I believe I believe I improved in leaps and bounds. And the reason why I believe that is because the guys I train with tell me that, you know, and they're they're, they're guys that I trust, and they are themselves high level strikers. Sometimes though, what you guys see in a clip is not representative of what they're actually able to do. And also they're the type of guys who are able to dial things back and come down to my level, so to speak. Right. And they only dial it up at appropriate times when they see that I'm able to handle it. And then of course, um, you have to understand too, that you might look at their technique and you say like, okay, it's not perfect. It's not this, it's not that. But the thing is, what you don't understand is that they know me. They know what I can do and what I can't do. So obviously some things they're not too worried about. So obviously they might keep their guard or their chin a little bit more up depending on distance, right? And they know they keep me, uh, they're able to keep me away from them with the kicks and so on. And anyways, there's a lot of little things. So um, yeah, where was I going with this? So to say that, um, um, you have to go learn proper technique and, oh, after that, I replied to that gentleman and I told him, well, you know, you're judging a little bit hard. I think you're a douchebag, you know, at least the way you're saying things and then responded to me. And he was saying how, um, you know, like he did some Olympic striking, uh, sports, you know, for 15 years, semi-national uh, and competed and all that. So. If you did Olympic striking uh, sports, you're talking about essentially uh, Taekwondo and kickboxing, right? So I respect those, those two sports, but me, but it's a little bit different in the sense that like when I'm doing my thing, I'm training striking, not so that I could compete in striking, but I'm actually training striking because I'm a martial artist. My main thing is grappling. Yes, I want to do, uh, and, and my main goal is to do something in judo, right? But when I train striking, I'm training to fight, to learn how to fight. So what I'm doing is actually like punching, kicking, and you know, everything that involves fighting. And I've recently started uh, working out with one of my friends who's, uh, uh, who, 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 who enjoys doing amateur fights, amateur MMA fights. So the context is a little bit different. I'm training essentially for the streets to fight because I'm a martial artist and I enjoy what, what I'm doing. So I'm trying to get good at martial arts and martial arts to me is, is, um, there's a lot like the term martial arts. It's not like martial artists, right? It's about the art of war. So there's a lot of things that go into that, right? It's not just sport anymore. It's about fighting. It's about, you know, 
you know, destroying, kicking ass, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat. <clears throat> Uh, then there's weapons involved. Then you could get, in, get into weapons, right? Then you could get into like guns. You get into tactics, multiple opponents, you know, uh, all all sorts of stuff, right? Strategies, tactics, you know, flanking people, having groups, you know. So now you're getting into. So to me, that's martial arts. Martial arts is war. That's what it is to me, you know. So this is just like a small aspect of it. So when I'm training in striking, I'm actually training um, for martial arts, right? as a martial artist, hand-to-hand, one-on-one, -hand, -on -one, for now, okay? Um, but that's what I'm training for, so my vision of things is very different in the sense that if you only do boxing, you only understand one aspect of fighting. If you only do Taekwondo, then you only understand one, another aspect of fighting, you know? And none of these aspects are necessarily, are, not, are complete on its own, because fighting, you know, uh, no rules, no holes barred, anything goes. So, where's I going with this? Mm. So what I'm trying to say is that maybe you lack context. Sometimes you lack context and that's why people will say certain things, right? In regards to, but that's fine. I mean, and that's, that's why, like, but I enjoy talking about this. But, you know, it's not in my opinion, wise, okay, to, to conclude and to judge too harshly somebody on their journey and what they're doing because, well, you might not have enough information. That's one. And also, if you're only doing box, if you do two, 15 years of boxing in Taekwondo, you know, boxing, you get a leg kick, it's over. Taekwondo, you get a punch in the face, it's over. Now you did, let's say you did two of those and you combine them, so you know, you kickboxing, bring you down to the ground and smash you, a la Khabib, done, finish. And then even if you are a, uh, let's say MMA fighter, you're a sambo guy and you know, you know how to fight and all that, dude, nobody's invincible. Now all of a sudden you throw in weapons and <laughs> <laughs> done my friend you know like you know so so what i'm saying is that and I've, I've done this before so i'm not uh uh i'm not uh you know i'm not knocking you know people who criticize and stuff like that without enough context and all that i'm just saying keep an open mind and don't criticize too harshly when you look at somebody do things uh that's that but to get back to my point i believe it's better to do light sparring and learn there and then you can refine technique and everything and power and speed and and precision and footwork and all that through the pads uh the pad work the bag work and the shadow work and all that okay then the opposite if you start with all this stuff and you don't and then you go into sparring big big shock i've seen it i've seen it i've seen it. i've seen guys man they, they look like Whoa. Oh yeah, you know, I got the guard up. Man, I fight with them. One punch to the face. That's all it, all she wrote. You know, not even hard, but just to completely uh, throw them off what they were trying to do. Like they don't even know where they are anymore. They're confused, they're scared. You know, they don't know how to deal with it and stuff like that. So, I mean, the only way to get good at fighting is to fight. But, you know, um, so that's why I prefer going the route of light sparring and throwing someone in there first and then after that making the adjustments on the side through pad work, foot work, you know, uh, bag work, whatever, you know. So that's just my opinion. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Like, let me, let me know down below, guys, what you think. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you think that light sparring is the way to go, you know, like done the way I suggested it uh, first and then after that use the rest to refine it or do you think, no, 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 you gotta, you know, um, you know, do the whole pad work thing and uh, footwork and and spend a lot of time essentially not fighting, and and blah 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 blah. And then after that, when you're ready, throw you in there for sparring, right? So <laughs> can't wait for you guys to uh, uh, comment on this. I uh, hope this video wasn't too long. Oh shit, 20 minutes. All right, um, hmm. listen to it on 2x. That's my suggestion. Guys, love you, love you all, uh, appreciate you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, help me grow the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.